I'm thinking it's going to be a well pitched nine because Brubaker uh, he's been on his game of late and when he's got his command and his slider going uh, he can pitch to any lineup in the league. He is also a new father. This is his first start since he went on the paternity list. Congratulations to uh, JT and his entire family. Chapman a line drive to right and Cal Mitchell is on it for route number one. And now Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Here's a chopper toward third. Doesn't get a great break out of the box. Coming in, scooping, throwing. Castro throws on to Van Meter for the out. Oscar Hernandez, the right fielder, bats third. 1 1. Crack right back up the middle and a base hit into center. First runner of the ball game, Teoscar Hernandez. Runner at first in the first. High pop. Very shallow center field. Coming in is Reynolds, and Reynolds will glove it for the final out. Half inning, Toronto nothing. Ross Stripling, 32-year-old, who's been both a starter and a reliever for the Blue Jays. P. Walker says he is the MVP of the rotation. Now, you can say what you want, but I think you can't argue with the results that he's given the Blue Jays here lately. One out, nothing, nothing. Pull on the ground down to first. Waiting on it, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. waves away the pitcher. Runs it to the bag himself, two away. Just misses. Wow. Castro waiting an extra second before dropping the bat and heading to first base, a two-out walk. And he continues. Ben Gamble, the batter. In the air left side, Guriel toward the line. Round number three. So a walk and now a plunk. Blue Jays trying to take advantage of this clunky start in the second. It's first and second. Lotus Guriel Jr., the batter. There's a ball bounced towards short backhanded Cruz. Quick flip to second one, but the backhand play made, and that will be it. So it's first and third with one out. Comes with Merrifield. Less than two outs, runner on third base, a veteran guy up. You have to get a good pitch to hit. You have to drive this run in. The 1-0, rip past the reach of Cruz into left field, a base hit. Blue Jays are on the board. Bichette is in to score. On a ball whistled by Merrifield that absolutely tied up O'Neill Cruz. 1-0 Toronto. Here's Danny Jansen. Here's a ground ball left side. Third base Castro throw to second one on to first. And they do turn the double play. Jack Sawinski will lead off the home second. Strike three called. Right on the inside corner with a changeup. Sawinski goes down looking. Second strikeout. Two down. Josh Van Meter is the first baseman today. Swing and a miss. Got him with a changeup. Down on strikes goes Van Meter. A couple of strikeouts in a perfect second for Ross Stripling. And there's one away. Brings up Vladdy. Round ball wide at third. Stepping back into his left. Castro's got it. A long sling. High throw out of the reach of Van Meter at first base. Vladdy safe. Castro had more time to let that play develop in his favor than what he did with the rush throw. And the Blue Jays are trying to take advantage of the throwing error now by Castro. A runner at first, one out. Runner from first goes. 3-2, swing and a miss. Here's the throw by Heineman down to second, not in time. Hernandez down on strikes. Vladdy gets his sixth stolen base of the year. He's in scoring position for Alejandro Kirk. 2-2. Line to right field in for a base hit. Vladdy cuts the bag at third. He's coming to the plate. Mitchell hesitates with the throw, so Guerrero can score easily. Blue Jays have a 2-0 lead on an RBI base hit from Alejandro Kirk. Mitchell in right field had trouble with the exchange, or he hesitated just flat out, opening an opportunity for Toronto to score easily. Top of the fourth inning, Biggio, Guriel, and Merrifield coming up. That ball is hit very well by Biggio. Deep to right field, Mitchell back at the track, and Biggio rides it out of here. A majestic shot off the bat of Kevin Biggio. Three nothing Blue Jays on the fifth of the season for Kevin. Oh, almost. Hey, uh, I thought it was going to be a great catch there for a moment. So close. Yeah, she was over across the aisle there. Ross Stripling has issued a walk and hit a guy. That's been it. Here's Rodolfo Castro, who took the base on ball back in the first inning. 2 2. Swing and a miss. Castro's down on strikes. Strikeout number five for Ross Stripling this afternoon. Two down at two on. First time this season that Stripling has walked three in a game. Even Stripling's three and two thirds no hit so far. Josh Van Meter going to step in. First pitch swing in the air left center field. Whit Merrifield to the alley slides and he can't make the catch. It's down for a hit and here come two. Van Meter a two run double and the Pirates are right back into it at three to two. Merrifield went into the slide and could not come up with it. Stripling hands out to the sides. He thought he was out of the inning. Pirates trailing by a run here in the bottom of the fifth. And now O'Neill Cruz see if he has learned anything his first two at bat striking out against Stripling. That's hit hard to left center field but Looking up, and it is a line drive. Cruz missile over the center field wall. His 12th home run, and it is tied up at three apiece in the fifth. That is amazing. That ball is just a rocket. The whole bullpen yeah, was right. running out of, the way. out of the way. They didn't want anything, any part of it. They are loaded for the Jays and Merrifield. With today's one for two, the infield's been drawn in. The pitch. 
Ground ball, third. Throw to second for one, to first, and they turn the double play. Chase DeYoung is fired up around the horn. Castro to Marcano to Van Meter. Merrifield hits into an inning-ending double play. They've got the first two on. First and second for Toronto. Vlad Jr. at the plate. This one on the ground to second. Marcano, Cruz, double clutch, got it anyway. And that is a double play, four and six. And three. Three, three game. Go ahead, run it third. So the Blue Jays are looking for a two out knock from Teoscar Hernandez. Ground ball up the middle. Base hit into center field. And the Blue Jays have the lead. Teoscar Hernandez delivers his second hit of the day. He drives home Jansen. And it's 4 3 Toronto here in the seventh. The Blue Jays are continuing to pressure Underwood and the Pirates. Back to back base hits for the Blue Jays. Runners are on the corners. In the air for Bichette into left center field and a diving effort by Sowinski. That is a wild grab for Sowinski in left. One of the best catches of the year here at PNC Park. Jordan Romano will take over in a safe situation for the 17th out of 30 save opportunities with a one run lead. The Pirates suddenly have bubbled up a rally against the virtually untouchable Romano. Second and third. Nobody out for Josh Van Meter. Swing and a miss. One down in the ninth. He went reaching back for high heat and got it at 97 miles an hour. Took a Peter Marcato is 0 for 3 today. Swing and a miss on a slider. Two gone. Marcato goes flailing at the slider. Now Kevin Newman will be asked to pinch hit for Tyler Heineman. Tying run at third, winning run on at second. The 2-2. Swing and a miss to finish the ball game. Three straight strikeouts after two singles, and the Blue Jays do get a 4-3 win. You won't find a more challenging save in the history of Jordan Romano's career than what he just pulled off in Pittsburgh. Panachase is presented by Roman, the official men's digital health clinic of Major League Baseball.